Welcome back. In this video, our objective is to introduce the difference quotient. And the difference quotient is really a neat preview of some things that you'll be studying in calculus. So the difference quotient is displayed here. F of x plus h minus f of x all over h is our difference quotient. And of course, h can't be zero because that would make our uh, fraction undefined. So remember what we're doing with functions here. x plus h means we're going to replace everything in our function with x plus h, and then we're subtracting our original function from all that. So in a sample here, we say use the different quotient for f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 9. So that's our original function. And we want to find f of 4 plus h minus f of 4. So we're going to replace x with 4 plus h in our function and then we're going to replace x with 4 and we're going to subtract the two. So you can see that's what we've done here. We've taken 4 plus h and we put it in for x so that's why we have 4 plus h squared and we put it in for x again at minus 2x so we've got x squared minus 2x plus 9 that's the first part of our difference quotient minus and then our function but now in our function we're going to put 4 in so we're going to replace x with 4 so that's how we end up with 4 squared minus 2 times 4 plus 9 so I've got everything subbed into my difference quotient here and now we simplify so 4 plus h squared, knowing our patterns, that's 16 plus 8h plus h squared minus 8 minus 2h plus 9 minus this whole quantity of 16 minus 8 plus 9. We have to keep simplifying, so we simplify everything and we get h squared plus 6h plus 17 minus 17. So our 9 and 16 are 9 and our negative 8 and 16 is our 17. Here's our negative okay, 17. So that equals h, cancel those out. We factor out the h out of h squared and 6h. So we get h times h plus 6 all over h. I forgot that in my work. I need to make sure I include that. So a little more clear we have h times h plus 6 all over h. All I did was rewrite the previous step. Our h is cancel and our final answer here is h plus 6. We have used the difference quotient to find f of 4 plus h minus f of 4 over h. Our final answer is h plus 6. So there's the difference quotient, and I will see you in class.